Hey guys and welcome to this Minecraft tutorial for Lightmatica, a mod that takes a hologram-like blueprint or schematics in the parlance of the mod and places them in your Minecraft world. I use this to copy huge redstone and creative builds, take them to my survival world, saving me from needing to world hop or awkwardly use screenshots that don't show me everything I need to know. I'm going to assume that you have a Minecraft install, uh, Java, sorry Bedrock users, and uh, know how to use the internet. I mean you are here after all. I'm going to take you through the process that I use uh, so that if anything in the tutorial changes like a version number or maybe a different website host, you'll be able to adapt, improvise, overcome. So taking our browser of use, we're going to use our search engine of use and search up Lightmatic. Yes, I can type and speak at the same time. Try, try and use the suggested spelling rather than whatever nonsense it is you put in there. The one we're looking for is CurseForge. Uh, that's the one I'm looking for anyway. I know that it is trusted and I know that places like my, Nine Minecraft are not to be trusted. Uh, so I'm going in for that one. I'll find a link in the description below, but as I say, this is uh, just going through the process I use. Looking at the page uh, for the current Minecraft version, we see that we need a fabric loader. I, I think we we're gonna deal with that first rather than ending up with a file that we don't know how to deal with. Okay, leaving the tab open because as I say, we're gonna come back to here. We wanna search up Fabric Minecraft because of course there are various places that we could go to, various websites and stuff, but the fabricmc.net is the one we want. This is the official home of Fabric. Takes us to possibly one of the worst designed websites on the internet, uh, second only to the mighty Optifine itself for the worst website out there. Okay, I recommend reading absolutely all of this here, but cutting to the chase, one of the reasons that it is the worst designed uh, website website out there. It's not this big blue button you want, it's this small blue button. And to install Fabric you need the Fabric Loader which you can download here. If you have the option to open in a new tab, I highly suggest you do that as we will be coming back. Coming over to the tab we have just opened, I will download the universal.jar. I don't know why anybody else would not would get the exe. I don't know why you would want the exe is what I'm trying to say here. If you want it, go for it. I'm going to double click the dot jar and this will pop up a nice little, oh, sorry, a nice little window right here. Uh, make sure that you have got the right version and that you have no copies of Minecraft open and click install. Almost instantly it comes up with done for me. I don't know if it will be quite as quick for you. Uh, and it makes mention of the Fabric API. That's actually to do with the other tab back there, but let's close this down and do a quick sanity check. I want to open my copy of Minecraft and make sure that down in the profiles, we've got the Fabric Loader, beautiful. I want to open this up so Fabric Loader can do its, uh, its initialized setup, put some folders in the background, stuff like that. So I'm going to go, hey, and whilst that is working away, can we go and download the Fabric API? So this is something that almost all of the mods that use Fabric will need. Uh, coming down, uh, look, we're on CurseForge. This is going to be a very, uh, very familiar page by the time we're done here. Uh, we want to come down to the R. That's the release, not the beta, not the alpha. Beta, beta? I don't know which one you want to use, but I'm, I use beta there. Uh, okay, we're going to download that. In five seconds, we will be done and downloaded. Okay, awesome. So that has just come down. Do you remember the Lightmatica page? We want to do the same thing here. Go for whatever version is the most recent. For me, it's 1.16.2. Download the, the most recent version. Wonderful, thank you. But coming back, we can also see that Lightmatica also requires a little library mod. This is just a, a bunch of uh, files that the mod creator has got spread across a bunch of mods. So he's like, hey, I'm going to put them all in the same place. So we need to download that as well. You should end up with three separate files at this point. You have the Fabric API, you have Lightmatica itself, and then also this library, um, Maliba, something like that. <laughs> So as we've been doing all this downloading, in the background our copy of Minecraft has opened up. You can see that it's the, got the fabric loader has been installed. That's beautiful. That's just a nice, quick, easy way to see. Of course, the fact that it changed the profile also uh, d uh, donates that. I want to go into the options. I want to go to resource pack and I want to open the pack folder because I need to get into my .minecraft folder. This here is where Minecraft stores all its files uh, and in particular is where fabric stores the mod. So I'm going to open that up. Wide open, empty space here. I also want to open up up the, the downloads folder that I have over here, and the downloads folder from the browser. Okay, I'm going to get rid of the fabric installer because it's just a little bit confusing having it there, and then drag these three, remember the fabric, the Lightmatica, and the Malib uh, mo uh, files here, and then unfortunately you need to uh, restart your Minecraft. And that is your install complete.
Now, if you want to be sure that the installation has gone correctly, let's jump into a single-player creative world. Doesn't really have to be a creative world. Needs to be anywhere and everywhere. Uh, we're going to come in here and grab ourselves a stick. And normally, when you put that into your hand, you should see, uh, if I can uh, press T here, that the little menu opened up in the bottom left. Unfortunately, it disappears when I open my chat box. That's not overly helpful. Is it? If you don't get the menu down the bottom, something's gone wrong, you need to go back and do all the steps again. Might I recommend that you check the version numbers? That's that's probably something that went wrong. Okay, now I'm going to show you how to move a template from a creative world into a survival world. I like this skin that I made. It's uh, just a little representation of myself. Hi guys, how are you doing? I'm going to come over and stand somewhere close to the build. Press and hold the M button. It's very important that you hold it down and then press S. S for selection. Now we have no selections available here, so if I'm going to hit new selection I'm gonna be give it give it a funky name whatever funky name you want to give it if I can ever type that would be great right funky name brilliant uh, and it gives us this this little box here yeah hi how you doing this little box is now our friend this box is gonna show us what we want to copy uh, so I'm gonna uh, just kind of right click uh, left click somewhere uh, and then use the ooh, use the power so I press control instead of alt control will run you through the menu over here the number that you are looking for I probably should have done that first sorry is number one I just happen to be on it straight away so I just jump straight to the next bit but if you are not on number one make sure you scroll through to number one take your hand off the control button and press it onto the alt button because this will enable you to scroll in and out now you have control of the box through uh, two two buttons you can left click over there and you can right click over there and you see how this one moves the left box and this one moves the right box but as you can see it kind of sinks it into the ground it actually selects the box you uh, the block you were clicking at so I like to use the alt button instead and you can see that it will scroll in whatever direction you are looking in so I like to try and get this one up to the top kind of give it a bit of a uh, one of those and one of those. Does it look like that I got the very edge of this guy's arm? It does. And does it look like I got the very top of this guy's head? It does. You don't need to get very specific with the outline here. This could very much be one block further out. It wouldn't cause any problems. It just means that you're trying to copy more in than you would like to. I don't know. It might overwrite the, uh, the air blocks might overwrite something. I'm not sure whether it actually does... No, it's a schematic. You place stuff yourself. There is a there is an option to paste in creative, but it only works in creative, and I'm not going to go into that today. I'll just let you know that, in fact, if you press control and scroll through, we have paste schematic into world number five, but that, as I say, only works in creative. Anyway, we've not even made the schematic yet, so let's right-click this bad boy out here. And you see I kind of missed, but I'm going to use the, uh, the alt powers to bring it up out of the floor. I don't want to copy the floor across, and then we're going to push that that way. Okay, it looks like I have got the box fully filled out okay beautiful beautiful I'm gonna go around and just make sure everything's looking good no extra blocks inside the schematic that I didn't want okay with that being perfect I'm gonna come back into my uh, M and S menu or the selection manager as it likes to be called and this is the selection that we've got now we're gonna try and save this here you can see it turns off the selection in the background as I click or unclick it um, we've got a configure button over here but actually if I come back this way you can also press the uh, ed editor area I, I don't I don't know the area editor sorry uh, I don't know why they both lead to the same place but anyway we want to save this schematic in the background so uh, make sure your name is correct uh, hit set if it's if it's what you want and hit save the schematic it's going to tell you to come over here to the uh, schematic editor uh, and save this where you like as you see I've got quite a lot but it will then appear down here uh, funky name beautiful beautiful the next thing of course is we need to uh, place this schematic shall we go to a survival world because I have a dream I have a dream of a starter house that looks just like me. So, following the dream of a starter house, I'm going to go and fire up a brand new world. I always play in hard, that's just the way I go. You don't have to start a survival world. This can work in anywhere. If you want to put it into a pre-existing world, go ahead. If you want to take it to a server, make sure you ask the owner and his admins whether they want it there or not. There are a few ways this can be abused. Alright, so in a brand new world, first things first, we need to... Go get a stick. Oh, they're all the way over there. Okay, with a stick and a light snack acquired, we're going to go and figure out where we want this placement. I think up there would be a beautiful place for me to have my starter home. So I'm going to go climb up there. Trust me, it's easier to start where you want it placed. 
Light mountaineering skills are not required for the use of light matica, but they sure do help. Okay, so now that I've picked out the perfect placement for my new starter build, I'm going to come along over here, press and down, hold down the M button and tap the P. This is going to bring us the schematic placement menu. Uh, but there's no schematics in here right now. There's not even a loaded schematic. If we come over, you can see that there are no schematics loaded into the memory. I don't know why this doesn't actually take you to the load schematic folder. I really feel like that should be the way that it works. But anyway, this, this is the thing. We find the, the one that we want. This might only have one one um, option in it, but I have been using this mod for some time now. As you can see, I've selected this, and I'm going to hit the load schematic. Okay, beautiful. Schematic funky name has been successfully loaded into memory. If you don't see this, something's gone wrong. Okay, escaping out, you can see that it has placed it exactly where I was stood. But centered around the blue circle, the blue square here. Blue circle, yeah, whatever. Uh, the blue square here. Now, I'm going to take a step back, and I'm going to say, hey, this is not quite where I want it. So I'm going to grab my stick tool and pressing the control button holding the control button i'm going to scroll through and find schematic placement on number two uh, this is uh, very similar to the selection placement whereas if you hold down the alt button and use your mouse wheel you can move this guy around in the direction that you are looking uh, even if you scroll down he will look it will go in the opposite way from what you're looking, if you will, just like that. But we are not limited to the rotation and chirality that it has come out of. Yes, indeed. If I happen to have built it in the wrong direction, as I feel like I have right now, I can press the M and P button again, and we've got a configure menu over here. Indeed, I'm going to come out of here. There is a move to player if you want to do that. I'm never, I literally never use that. I've normally set that up beforehand. But look at the buttons underneath it. Rotation around the blue square down here. Look at that. It rotates around the blue square. Very important. You can chase, change the origin, but that takes a little bit of that work. Or you can mirror around the blue square. Again, it flips it over this way, or it flips it across these two, or you put it back to a normal. Now, I feel like I want him, the, my bad boy facing that way, and we're going to scroll. Ooh, if you press control and go through, just look for schematic placement. Uh, take your hand off the, the control button, and then use the alt button as, uh, as the mod developer intended. Okay, this is starting to look about right. The things to take note of here. Uh, you can see that the blocks that are originally part of the schematic are kind of highlighted in this blue colour and the blocks that we don't want are outlined in this red colour. So I'm just going to go through and punch these out. So after finding a desert, cooking up some cactus, getting some bone meal, and mixing the two colours together, I got myself a whole bunch of this lime wool. And as you place it down, you can see that the hologram becomes just a little bit more, more real. You can, after you get your eye in, you start to be able to tell the difference relatively easily here. Far, far, far too used to being in creative or having a light truck. I've piled my, pillared my way up here and I have no idea how to get down. But you probably want to know how to either load a schematic that you found from the internet or share it with friends. I'm going to open up my uh, resource pack and the resource pack folder again. It is by far the easiest way I've found, found to get to your dot .minecraft folder. Another way, if you're wondering, uh, press the, uh, the percent sign twice. Go into the middle of the two and type the word app data. And that will also get you to the folder above your dot .minecraft. Now, in here you will find the schematics folder. Uh, as I say, I've, I've been using these quite a lot, but there is the funky name dot lightmatic. Uh, copy, paste this, put it in Discord, share it with your friends, do whatever you need to do to share this out there. Of course, uh, if you are receiving one of these files, this of course is where you put it. Now, that's not everything I know about the Lightmatica mod, but that is everything important that you need to know. I hope you had a great fun going out there and building away. If you really enjoyed what's going on here and think I've been very, very informative, please do leave me a like, a thumbs up, the, the, the algorithm. The algorithm demands it. And I will see you next time where we're going to play some actual Minecraft. Bye!